Scientists would likely look into the potential of mRNA technology as the search for an HIV vaccine continues. This technology has become a game changer, helping scientists find a vaccine against the coronavirus. At a virtual HIV Research for Prevention Journalism Fellows Program, discussions also centered on the latest in HIV vaccine research. It makes complete sense to investigate how we can do this. And so we have to do reverse engineering. So as we've helped um, Zika, Ebola, and, and SARS-CoV-2 with A26, chimp ad, and other things, we need to see how can we use mRNA in HIV vaccine research. There's a lot of work to be done um, for HIV vaccine research. And the question is whether we have the patience after 705 and 706 to embark on a, another endeavor to find an HIV vaccine. The dupivirine vaginal ring is made of silicone and it's impregnated with about 25 milligrams, so not very much drug called dupivirine. And it's placed in the vagina, worn for a month at a time, and essentially, the phase three studies have been done. The European Medicine Agency this past summer gave a positive opinion. The regulatory submissions have been made um, to the Food and Drug Administration and several African regulators. And the World Health Organization is expected to have guidelines for the use of dupivirine ring by women coming out, I think, sometime this summer. Sort of Concerns about equitable distribution of a future vaccine against HIV was brought to the fore. HIV. Even in the remotest areas of Zimbabwe, in the back, uh, uh, the, the remote villages, we should be able to deliver these interventions. And we are going to decentralize. Just yesterday in the clinic, some of my participants for 084 were asking me, when is this injection going to be available? Are we going to be able to afford it? And um, I did say that uh, they must also advocate for it to be available in a tiny manner and to be affordable. Access to daily oral prep is rising around the world, but a daily pill is not suitable or desirable prevention method for everyone. Today, women account for more than half of all people living with HIV globally.